Okay, here's how this works. These two guys have made this for a lot. They've programmed it, pre-programmed it, to try to complete these tasks, such as grabbing that white tube, which is called a catalyst, and moving it into one of All right. Team on table two here is these white circles here. Let's see if they get it in there. Yes, they almost did. It's going to keep going. No, they, got the, they do get points just for getting the catalyst out of those circles. Yeah, now if they want to continue it, they're picking that up. It's going to be a 10 point deduction because they have to go back to their starting zone. They can change their program if they want to a different one. And they want to go after these atoms. Those are hydrogen atoms. And these are oxygen atoms. And they can try to grab those and put them in these reactors and make molecules. Different molecules are worth different that's points. A freebie. That's a freebie. You can move a freebie. Wait, wait, is that 30 points? What's that? Is that 30 points? It's on. No, no, no. no. If you leave it there, uh, let's yeah, it, it wasn't touching it. <laughs> All right. It's a freebie, though, so, so just get it. There. Yeah, so you don't get it. Well, we're under the one minute mark. But because they were in that box over there, they can move it for free. Now they're going for their final right. 30 points. Now there we go. By driving it into that zone and parking it. They have to be touching the wall and have at least one wheel in there. It's 160, right? Other ways yeah, they could get points, for example, is they could take two hydrogens and an oxygen and they've just made water okay if they put you know maybe three hydrogens and an oxygen and a catalyst they can form a different kind of reaction and get bonus points so that's the idea and you want to try to end up over here in this corner which is called the safety zone uh, that's pretty much it robot design is up to the students programming is all done on a computer and loaded tech module on the top an XT module and that's about it. We see all kinds of designs.
for it needs to be recovered while it's inside of that big white circle. The team is not allowed to recover the robot. The robot just has to sit there. And it represents radiation that's building up in the center of the field before molecules are actually reactively created. And so if the robot's in that zone, you're not allowed to touch the robot. So we're under 30 seconds to get the match. There's several things the team is trying to happen. Uh, the teams are trying to... The teams are trying to build a ball Trying to move the items around the building. Up here wait, comes uh, five wait, seconds wait. remaining. Four, three, two, one. And that's one. Lego! <laughs> Here in the advanced competition, we only have seven rounds or seven matches per round. So advanced tournaments are going to go pretty quick. We've got only one more match before the end of this round. We play three rounds. Every team gets three opportunities to play. We take the top two scores and we average them together to get a ranking score. And of course, we drop the third score. In the event of a tie, we bring back that third score use that third score as the tiebreaker. In the event of still another tie yeah. for, for our teams exactly. in first, second, first place, second place, and third place, we do sudden death matches at a time. One minute after this point, Robots that are in the center could be stranded there for the rest of the match. All right, we're coming up on the 30 second mark. 30 seconds. Teams want to try to score as high as they possibly can. Just touch it. Yeah, all right. Very nice. 